Deborah. And my name is Chris. And tonight, we'll be dancing the, the tango. tango. Working with Chris this past week has been fun, challenging. This old body and those dips. <laughs> it's a good thing he's a strong guy. <laughs> Working with Deborah this past week has been great. She always comes in ready to learn. She's a very fast learner and is able to pick up the choreography and even give me corrections too. Uh, I'm dancing for the Art Center in Corvallis. Um, the Art Center has been for over 55 years at the center of the creative community. Tonight we'll be dancing the tango, which is a social dance that originated in Latin America and it is a very intense, passionate dance, and we can't wait to show you it tonight. I understand it's actually the dance of the immorals. The hardest part of this past week is that I still have a house full of holiday company, <laughs> so I get to come here and dance and go home and cook and clean. <laughs> Physically, I'm feeling fine. In fact, I dance a couple of times a week, and this just gives me an opportunity not to train. Am I getting more nervous? as it gets closer to the show date. I wasn't nervous until I found out I had to do this interview. Then I got really <laughs> nervous. <laughs> my name is Deborah, And my name is Chris. And tonight, you should vote for us because... Despite the fact that we're dancing an immoral dance... We are both very moral people. So, vote, vote for, for us. us. for Deborah, everyone. De Deborah, wow. I mean, wow. You were all over him like a bad rash. It was, whoa. Now, you guys dancing, I mean, that was just so sexy on stage. I mean, it kind of reminded me of, um, uh, what was it, Dirty Dancing with Jennifer Grey and everything. Except I, at the end, I wasn't sure if you were Jennifer Grey or if this was uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> how did you, uh, how did you prepare, prepare for this tango tonight? Well, a lot of mental practice and Malbec. <laughs> Seems pretty, pretty standard. <laughs> and how was it uh, you know, working with your partner, Chris, this week? He was great. He, um, <laughs> there were a couple of times where I threatened to actually let him drop me but he wouldn't. <laughs> well, did a wonderful job. Let's go ahead and see if your judges thought you were hot or not. Let's go ahead and start with Randy. 
Well, uh, as you mentioned, uh, they're all over it like a rash. Uh, if she had a rash, we'd know about it. <laughs> nice outfit. Uh, another great technique uh, was the slap. I thought that was right on point, great timing. I would have liked to have seen your head up a little. You were looking a little too much at your feet, but other than that, uh, you had a great tango. It did uh, Argentina, comes from the brothels, sultry women. Anyway, an eight. <laughs> All right, an eight. And let's go ahead and hear from Debbie. Yes, Deborah, that was beautiful. Thank First of all, way to grab his attention at the beginning with the nice little, hey, look at me and look at you. You're beautiful. I'm so glad that he did not drop you in practice so you can perform this beautiful dance. And I just want to say three Fs. You had the flirtatiousness, you had the fun, and then you had the finish. And uh, flick, so four, and flick. So beautifully and well done. Thank you. How about a score there, Debbie? A score? All right, another eight. All right, let's hear from Michelle. I'm a little worried here. This is the director of the Corvallis Art Center Church art program. She is a vixen. Oh, my, my. What do you do over there at the art center? <laughs> you were hot, and you really convinced me. Really convinced me. <laughs> Back bends and all. I was a little concerned that there might be a costume event. So was I. <laughs> <laughs> but you kept it together in more ways than one. Good job. All right, let's see. I'm giving you nine. All right, a nine for total score out of 25. All right, Debbie, you heard from your judges. How do you feel about that score tonight? Pretty good, thanks. <laughs> well, you did excellent. So let's give one more round of applause to Deborah, everyone.